welcome to my free analytic daily share. Today we're going to take this one, another method of storing results. Um, if you go look, hopefully you're watching this in the video channel, so you can see them all them in sequential order. We have been discussing how to build an inventory. Yesterday we talked about writing the results to a lookup file. Now we're going to write to a summary index. And the advantage of a summary index is you can actually record what your inventory is each day. If you add to it, in, uh, lookup is great, but it is not meant to be a giant data source. So if you keep writing to it, you can use the append command and keep writing there, but eventually it becomes very difficult to manipulate. You got time, you got to try to write time fields in there. Instead, what you can use is the summary index command. You can use a summary index and every day you can write your inventory into this index and then you can say, hey, what was what machines did I see on my network 30 days ago? What machines did I see on my network 20, uh, 25 days ago on this day? Did I see anything from these? And so you can basically create an inventory on a day by day basis. And that leads to a whole bunch of other cool analytics because you can see what IP addresses are dropping off, what IP addresses are coming onto your network. Are they changing roles and responsibilities if you're adding that kind of metadata to it? The, the, realm, the, the amount of things you can do just grow. I love summary indexing. It's a very powerful tool. I'm going to show how to use it. The command is really, really simple. We've we already grabbed our con logs in the previous videos. We created a unique inventory that we've got going here. And basically at the very end, we write this pipe collect, collect command says, collect the data and write it to the index. You pick an index that exists and you call out the source you want it to be in. I'm gonna call it network inventory. So I'm gonna have an in, in my index lane training, I'll have a source called network inventory and it's going to write these results and timestamp it and everything and make it searchable. So let's go ahead and run that command. And now these results are in a index. That's interesting. Did I lose? Uh, I'm actually wrote this thing flipped here. Whatever. We got results here. We're going to work with that. I accidentally overwrote my search command. Let's just really quickly fix that. Now nah, it's all right. I don't care. We'll just show the demo here. And if I jump over here, I have my index equals lame training, my source equals network inventory. And if I run this query, Let's open it up so it's not just looking at last, we're gonna look at last 24 hours. And now I have those results. I have those 218 entries recorded right here. And I can search them. They've got timestamps, they've got indexes, all sorts of stuff, and you can search them just like you would search any other Splunk inf information. I hope this is helpful. I hope this takes you from being a lame analyst to a Splunk ninja. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and put any comments down below, things you want to see. Uh, love to hear feedback from you. Hope to see you around.